of news while waiting for the right time for class to start. I was pretty surprised by this. Um, I've heard of this group called Team Kimru. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Gaelic or something. I've heard of them a lot uh, in the security community, and I never really knew what they did. And apparently what they do is they monitor uh, top-level ISPs, and they sell the flow data to anybody that wants it, which you can use, apparently, to de-anonymize VPNs, which is pretty exciting. Um, so Team Kimru is a threat intelligence firm. And they get NetFlow data, which you know, NetFlow is not complete packet captures. It says this IP address connected to that IP address and sent data for this long. Uh, this was originally what they called pen register data for telephone calls, which was who called who and for how long, and it was used to make your phone bill. And the same equivalent data is Cisco created this NetFlow system so you can be an ISP and you can regulate how much service people are using and you can bill them for it and stuff. And so that's NetFlow data. And Team Kimru buys it and then sells it. <clears throat> and they sell it to anybody that wants to de-anonymize VPN so they can track down uh, who's going where. So that is pretty interesting. Their customers can run queries against any IP address to pull the, the net flows out of it. <coughs> so that's uh, exciting stuff. And uh, see if I can copy this link again. I see somebody in the Zoom, and you should know that the visual is on Twitch, which I'm putting in the chat. Anyway, so Samsung uh, has smart TVs, and when they connect to the Internet, they connect to Samsung servers, and apparently they can turn them off remotely, and they're going to do that. They had a whole rare house got looted in some riots and uh, <clears throat> in South Africa, and they have set them, put them on their hate list, so those TVs will self-destruct when they connect to the Internet, so that's interesting. I remember when Amazon found out that some books had been sold that they didn't have the rights to, so they reached onto people's Kindles and took them back. And everybody got all upset at the time that um, you couldn't, uh, that they thought once you had a book on your Kindle it was yours and you owned it, and it turned out that was not true. Not so much. Anyway, this I thought was fun. It's from a while ago, but this is someone showing Metasploit tricks. If you are having trouble making your Metasploit attack work, which happens very often, if you use Metasploit, if you're taking a pen attacking class, um, I use a lot, and you know, when I use it for more than about half the time, things fail. I put the Twitch link in the chat for the Zoom. That's where the visuals are for anybody in Zoom. And uh, there's this thing called HTTP trace, but will let you see the requests and responses as it tries to make HTTP connections, which is pretty cool. <coughs> and there's more tricks down here. Didn't they do that for Apple as well when there was a riot? I have not heard of that. Uh, I didn't know Apple could break a phone, but maybe if they did, that's interesting. Yeah, I know there was a um, there was a thumb drive group that did something like this about eight years ago, where there was some USB device where you had to pay for an expensive driver. And if you got the cheap open source one, they would detect that and destroy it when you plugged it in. Everyone got very mad at them. Anyway, so this San Francisco Symphony chorus director. San Francisco is now having virus mandates everywhere, and they have a virus mandate for the symphony. And he left and resigned and went back to another country because he won't take the vaccine. And he's all full of tweets of the standard anti-vax stuff, um, how uh, people should take ivermectin instead which is this horse medicine. That's the latest thing uh, Republicans want people to take. Um, when Sarah Senior have gotten tired of pushing hydroxychloroquine, now they're pushing this. Um, now, um, Ron DeSantis is pushing one that he has investments in to get people to use it, apparently, which is the, um, the monoclonal antibodies, which Trump used. And those will actually help you, but they're very expensive. Um, but anyway, it's, uh, but now they're pushing things that actually do no good. And apparently ivermectin is in that category. Just like the hydroxychloroquine and like uh, most of the anti-vax stuff, there was a scientist that made a completely fake study with just totally fake data, which they hold up as the uh, um, reason they believe it. And the doctor has been like, his paper has been withdrawn and his, uh, his, you know, they lost his job and everything. So now he goes around with Trump or somebody saying that uh, everybody should take this junk. Trump even tried saying people should take the vaccine, but his followers won't have it. Anyway, 
And so here's another example. I mean, I mean, Trump Republicans have actually been pushing vaccination recently. Apparently, there was some level of like outrageous death where they have to change their tune. But um, once you've inspired your followers with this idea that uh, they should make a political statement by not taking it, it's hard to get them to stop doing that. Anyway, COVID is so bad, the gun makers are not going to the NRA's show. And this is like the most important uh, place for them to go to sell their guns. But they're afraid of COVID, which I guess everybody should be. Um, it's the Delta variant is spreading even among vaccinated people and so on. So now they say kids are going to school, getting COVID, bringing it home and infecting their parents, even though they're vaccinated. So, uh, of course, supposedly vaccinated people don't die if they get COVID. But uh, all this has motivated me to like not eat indoors at restaurants and I can avoid it anymore and stuff like that, which apparently is hurting the restaurant business in San Francisco. For like a month there, people were starting to go back to restaurants, and now they're pretty much hiding again, like me. And uh, they're, uh, now they're saying we're just going to go back into COVID for the foreseeable future. Because apparently like um, 90 million Americans absolutely refuse to get vaccinated, and there's no way to compel them. So uh, this will never stop. Not until it burns out on its own. Which, of course, the, uh, the Delta variant is a step in the right direction in a way. What well, This is how pandemics end. They mutate until they finally reach a state that is more contagious but less lethal. And that one takes over. And then you just live with it. Like, that's what the common flu is. The common flu is the uh, pandemic from 100 years ago that mutated into a less lethal form. <clears throat> that's presumably will eventually happen. Anyway, these guys are academics that build a system like Apple's to scan images in like a cloud server and find the ones that are child sexual abuse and they published the technique and they said don't use it because the obvious thing is here um, there's no way to control what's in that database you get something like a list of hashes you scan all the images if they're in the hash you tell the cops and so a government like china could totally make a list of all the politically forbidden things and all the other governments who uh, don't want to do human rights abuses could uh, just give you any list of images to flag and uh, when you flag them, you're helping them oppress their people. And there's no way to prevent that, uh, which is what everyone's afraid is going to happen now that Apple's going to do this. Although, like I say, the, the, the elephant in the room is that, is that everybody else has been doing it for years. Google and Azure and everybody have been uh, scanning for child sex abuse. You pretty much have to. You can't have people putting child porn on your cloud server. <laughs> that, uh, that's too dangerous, legally, <clears throat> among other things. So... A Dutch public broadcaster got rid of targeted ads, and they found that if you just do context-dependent ads, where the ads depend on what part of the page you're looking at and what you clicked on, that turns out to be plenty good enough to mean that you're seeing ads relevant to what you're interested in, and the advertisers are content to pay for that. And uh, this may be the future. You may be able to do something to roll back the invasive uh, <coughs> exploitation of uh, invading your privacy that Google has been championing to such great effect. It would be interesting to see. So the Naval Academy had to have their exams done remotely because of COVID, and a bunch of them cheated. And the Naval Academy, well, military academies take this really seriously. They expect you to have honor. And if you promise not to do something, then even if it's pretty easy to do, you're supposed to not do it. Um, and so uh, now they are making punishments for a lot of them of various kinds. Um, they've even held a whole year back of students at West Point when there was a big cheating scandal. Cheating on tests is a really big issue. Um, I'm glad I, I don't teach the kind of course where I really have to worry about that. You know, I got these open book courses, open book tests online. I, I don't have any control against cheating, and it doesn't really matter for my courses. But for a lot of things, it really matters. And then it's an endless struggle, the struggle against the students to try to stop them from cheating. Yeah, here it is, ivermectin. The FDA put out a tweet saying, you are not a horse, you are not a cow, which is pretty hilarious because people are taking horse and cow medicine, but they won't take the real vaccine. So it's, uh, it's, it's a study in like psychology and religion. Um, one third of Americans do not believe doctors or the government or reputable news sources. It's like they're in a strange cult. They only believe crazy places like Fox News and OAN and Newsmax that completely lie to them and tell them lies that are going to get them killed, and they remain cling to them. It's just like many religions are like this. They get told something horrible, they do something terrible, and you can't talk them out of it. Remember, uh, well, there have been many death cults. All right. And Republicans are our latest death cult. 
All right. So we're back to the official time. Let me uh, stop this recording and make another one.